What's going on and welcome back to another less than five minute gear review. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the Tasmanian Tiger Tactical Muff Hand Warmer. Now this guy's gonna cost you roughly around 45 bucks. It is a substantial price difference from a lot of the other hand warmers that I've done reviews on, but it is also a lot simpler. But when it comes down to it, the small size, the simple shape, and configuration of this entire system is really nice. It is worth the money and it does a phenomenal job. I gotta use this in both Colorado and North Carolina, so that high altitude cold and that cold that's down at those uh, um, sea level, where in my opinion, that sea level cold just cuts straight through fabrics and materials. Uh, this did a phenomenal job in both of those environments. So I was really satisfied with this product as a whole. When it comes to the construction and setup of this thing, it's real simple and straightforward. It's pretty much entirely made out of Cordera for the exterior. You have fleece on the interior and then you have some insulating material that's inside of all of that. So uh, real simple and straightforward. There is no pocket on the front side compared to some of the other systems that I've ran. Um, it would be nice if there was that pocket, just so that way you can throw admin cards, data cards, pens, pencils, small little items, but it's not necessary when it comes down to it. You also have uh, two sets of bungees on either side. You have a set of uh, bungee and shock cord for your external uh, closure and then also the internal fleece portion and opening so you can trap all that hot air in there or body heat inside of this thing and you don't have to worry about that stuff coming out. So um, it does a really phenomenal job as far as keeping your hands warm uh, for being simple and straightforward. On the back side, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You have... Uh, these Velcro loops, and then you also have bungee, molly, and then you can also throw in a little like metal link here and then run a belt around your body if you wanted to do that as well. So you have some options as far as the configuration and setup goes on your kit, whether you wanna run this on your belt, connected to your plate carrier. Um, the thing with these bungees that's really nice is you can throw these on and then be able to pull and stretch that thing out. So. Um, it'll really work with you when it comes down to it. So you have a couple of different options on the backside. That's just kind of the key point there. For me, I just ran the uh, loops around my belt, uh, Velcroed them in after I slid them behind my belt and it was good to go. When I didn't need it anymore, I was able to just rip it right off. I didn't have to take all of my kit and belt off and all that to be able to take this off or try and fight to find a buckle. So it was real simple application and uh, kind of donning and doffing. So. The other thing with this thing that's really cool too is the curved shape compared to a lot of the other ones that are just kind of a straight tube. Uh, with this being that curved shape, it did feel a lot more natural to be able to throw my hands in there and I didn't feel like I was like kind of fighting to get inside of the uh, uh, hand warmer itself. So that was one feature that I really did like about this is that curved shape. And I noticed it straight off the bat online when I was looking at it, uh, but that is something that is really, really nice with this. So uh, with that, I really don't have anything else for it. It does come in a couple of colors and camo patterns, uh, but outside that, I mean, this thing is awesome, especially for 45 bucks. I think it's a steal and it's a phenomenal product. I've always been impressed with Tasmanian Tigers gear. So check them out. If you have any questions, please feel free, leave a comment. We'll help you out in any way that we can. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.